It's the middle of the afternoon, but it's still cold. Well, the rain has stopped. But I was looking at this the other day. I think we worked on this, I think, not too long ago, pruned it out. But I wanted to change, okay? I have the feeling that it has two ideas at the same time, and it's really not complementary to each other. So one is down here. If I took this whole thing off, down here. I tend to like these drop branches, but this one kept going and I'm not sure if it's really helping this presentation or not. One idea is to cut off where the white sheet is and then just have this. It would be a large bonsai, but very unique lines, right? If we cut the drop branch so that it just becomes a side branch, it becomes more normal. Well, sometimes you could equate normal with boring. So, what should I do? need different angles to decide. Simple solution. Just bring my saw and cut it off. But then we got all this beautiful stuff up there. So how about if I put air layering here and here? So I have three things. And especially up here, it has really nice movement here. This part here, there might be a abruptness here that I would have to work on, but it's still worthy of my time because of the nice uh, girth that we have. I could try to take air layering here, but I want to use this branch to keep the bucket from falling down. So I'm going to maybe strip here. What do you think? So somewhere up here is what I'm thinking. I want to use one of these branches to hold the bucket and then probably need to do some cleaning there. So I'll go ahead and study a little bit more and since I'm going to take that route I'm going to have to take out some branches and uh, make sure that I have areas I could work with. Okay, that's just a trial fit. I'll show you more detail, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, some sort of bucket or pot would fit up there and that should work fine. So now I gotta look for something down below. Oh, in the past I made this mistake of uh, <laughs> cutting into the wood and then found out I couldn't get any pots to uh, fit that area. So now I fit the pot first, make sure it's going to work, and then I'll go ahead and peel back the bark so that we could hopefully get uh, air layering. So this one is we're pushing for two. So if these two take, then we'll have three trees all together. So anyway, I'll get to the next stage because it looks like it's going to work. Okay, so this is the lower one. Make sure it's wide and we're going to peel this back all the way down to the cambium layer. And if you just take a little bit off the top, it'll just heal itself. So it won't work. You got to, it's a big commitment. It's either do or not. Okay, the other one is up here. We're going to peel this back. And what we try to do is this gap should be equal to the diameter of the uh, trunk. So it would be, first I take the knife and cut. Make sure it goes really deep. And then peel back the bark down to the cambium layer. And you've got to do that and make sure it's complete.
Today I'm using this method, taking the shears and going around. Make sure it's deep, right? And then we're gonna go peel this back. But you could use a knife or something like this. You just gotta figure out how. What I found was this tool. This is actually called a root cutter, but it really seems to work well. See, you just peel it back. You gotta get to the cambium layer. And depending on the tree, sometimes the bark is very thick. So you gotta get really to the cambium layer. So if, if there's a little bit of untouched actually good heal itself in fact there's a technique called a uh, bridge graft you put it on this side and this side and you could get a tree that could die to come back but what we wanted to do is to make sure that we have it uh, like that i gotta go all the way around okay i got the buckets on uh, i put the date nice and clear uh using a pen uh, paint pen so that hopefully it won't wash off like your permanent ink uh, but one thing I learned was I'm gonna fill this after I get to the spot where I'm gonna leave it in the past I filled it up now and then when I brought it over there it has shaken loose so I'm gonna take it to the site where it's gonna be and then I'm gonna fill it and I'm using my basic uh, bonsai soil and it's been working the best. Uh, probably we'll take a paintbrush and brush the uh, cut area with a rooting hormone. I've done it with and without in the past. As a review, what I did on, on those can was to cut across like this, right? And this part gets cut according to the diameter of the tree and then what you do is you fit it around the, the tree and then tape it how i got this idea was there was a catalog where they will sell you this with a hinge over here and i figure it was quite expensive so i said why not this way it's a lot cheaper just cut it put the hole in put it around the tree tape it and then fill it with soil. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with this. Let's review my thinking. So this will start at the ground line and get almost to the first uh, pot, the green pot there. And then that will become a large bonsai with a very unique shape. And then from the green pot to the bottom of the black pot is uh, one tree that one is going to require some careful thinking to get it to work Versus the top. I think that one is already as soon as it roots uh, It's already have a nice shape. So I'm going to try to get three from one Which is contrary to what I'm trying to do which is try to reduce my inventory but I think if I make this into three. Two of them is going to get sold pretty fast. The middle one is going to require the most work. So anyway, oh yeah, the other component of this technique is luck. So wish me luck and we'll see uh, how this is doing probably late spring. Uh, we'll be checking to see if there's any roots started. Uh, I'm thinking that this is probably a one year to one and a half year project. So anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye. I'll see you again real soon in another chapter. So today is uh, February the 3rd, which is a little early, but about the time that you're going to see this, because usually about a month, a month and a half delay, uh, it should be the right time for you. So anyway, uh, I'm saying goodbye for now. See you again real soon in another chapter.